Have you ever wanted to make a computer inside of your computer? Well, that's one of the core mechanics of the game that I've been working on for the past few months. And in this video, I'll show you how you can make one too, in Godot. I'm going for a CRT style monitor. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a box that has a screen in using some CSG geometry. If you don't know how CSG geometry works in Godot, all you have to do is add in the geometry you want underneath a combiner, and then just set each geometry node's operation mode to shape the overall geometry. Then we're going to add in a mesh instance 3D and set it to use a quad mesh, and this will be our computer screen. Then grab a sub viewport and add in the control nodes that you want to use for your UI under it. I'm just going to add in a tab container and give it a texture rec child. Then I'll drag over the default Godot icon into its texture slot. Unfortunately, as of 4.4, Godot still has this bug where you can't actually see the control nodes that you're editing under a sub viewport. So in order to see your UI while you're working on it, you have to drag it out from under the sub viewport, make your edits, and then drag it back underneath, which is an annoying workflow, but it still gets the job done. So now I'm just going to duplicate the texture recs, and what that's going to do is add them as selectable tabs in the tab container because they're all children of it. So now I'm just going to modulate the colors of the texture recs so that later when we make it interactable, you can actually see the difference between the tabs when we're going through them. Next, we're going to give our screen mesh a new material. Open the materials properties and scroll down to the two resource tabs. Open them up and select local to scene on both. After that, click on the Albedo tab, Texture, and New Viewport Texture. Now you can click on that Viewport Texture, Assign, and assign the sub-viewport in your scene. So now we have our control node UI under the sub-viewport projected as a texture onto the mesh. So now how do we make this mesh texture interactable like a computer screen? Well, thankfully, there's a demo project in the asset library that's going to do the heavy lifting for us. Download this GUI and 3D viewport demo and import it into your Godot projects. Open that demo project, select the GUI 3D script, and we're going to copy and paste this into our project. Then we're just going to delete these three areas related to billboarding because we don't need that for a computer. Select your mesh, click the mesh button, and then create collision shape. Then also add in an area 3D and make the collision shape a child of it. Then I'm just going to drag the sub viewport out and rename the mesh to quad. This will make our scene match the paths defined in the script. Then all we need to do is add a camera to our scene. I'm also just going to reorganize the scene so that the camera isn't a child of the computer. Then add a script to the camera, and in its ready function, just set the mouse mode to confined. I'm just adding in a world environment so that the screen is well lit. And now you can see we have a functional and interactive computer screen. But what if you want to add a shader to your computer screen? Well, you can go over to GodotShaders.com and search up the kind of shader that you're looking for. Pick out one that you like, and then just copy its code. Back in Godot, add in a color rect under your top level control node. Give it a new shader material, and then create a shader. Open up the shader you just created, and then paste in the shader code. This is an old shader, so I needed to add in this line to make it work in 4.4. Also, since Godot renders 2D nodes from top to bottom in the scene tree, you'll want your color rec to be the last child underneath your top level control node. 
so that it renders over the UI. Alternatively, you could also just increase the Z index of the color rect. Initially, the shader is just going to appear in the top left corner. You need to select your color rect and set its anchor preset to full rect in order for it to apply across the entire screen. Now you can play around with your shader parameters so you get a look that you're happy with. These are the settings that I went with for this shader. I also want to make the tab bars larger on the UI, and in order to do that, I'm going to use a theme. So we're going to add tab container to our theme, hit the plus button next to font size, and that'll add it as a settable parameter in your theme. Themes also propagate down, so if I put a theme on the top level control node, then every node under it will also take on that theme. But now if we play our scene again, suddenly the input stopped working. Well that's because our color rec shader is on top of our UI, and you need to set its mouse filter to ignore. So now we have a functioning computer screen with a shader. But this only works with a flat, one-sided quad mesh. What if you want your screen to be on a 3D mesh? or on a curved mesh. In order to do that, you're gonna to need to go into Blender. I scaled down the cube into a thin three x four rectangle. Then we're going to go into edit mode and hit Control R to make some loop cuts along our mesh. Scroll up the mouse wheel to increase the amount. You don't need too many of them. You can also hold Control to snap them. Then back in object mode, you're going to want to hit Ctrl A and then apply all transforms. After that, add a new simple deform modifier to your mesh. Click bend and Z axis and then give it the angle that you want. Click the drop down arrow and then apply to apply the modifier. Then you'll want to go to the materials menu and add a second material. I'm going to give it a color that stands out and then just apply it onto the screen surface. If you don't see the material being applied, then press Z and select Material Preview. Then open the UV Editing panel, select just the surfaces that make up your screen, click U, Unwrap, and Smart UV Project. Then rotate, move, and scale the UV island until it takes up the entire UV grid. Then back in Object Mode, select Object and Shade Smooth. This is going to make those five flat loop cut surfaces that we made before appear as one smooth continuous surface. Then save the Blender file inside your Godot project. If you don't know how to do this, I've left the tutorial in the description. Head back into your Godot project and double click the Blender file. Then you'll want to toggle off punctual lights and cameras before hitting re-import. Now you can drag the Blender file into your scene. I accidentally made my mesh too big because I forgot that the default Blender cube is 2 meters on each side, but I'll scale it down later. Then right click on the Blender scene you just imported and select Make Local. Now you can directly access the mesh node. You won't be able to edit any of the mesh's properties until you right click and hit Make Unique. You'll have to do the same thing for the material. Now I'll just scale down the mesh. Then back in the material, toggle on both the local to scene buttons like we did before. Reset the color of the material. We only use the bright green to differentiate the screen surface. And just like with the quad mesh, select new viewport texture and assign the sub viewport. We're still going to use the old quad mesh though. Clear its material property and move its position to be about centered with your new screen mesh. Also, make sure that both meshes are approximately the same width and height. Now you can toggle the old quad mesh to be invisible and move the new screen mesh to be a child of the computer node. Now delete the Area 3D in the collision shape for the quad mesh and create a new Area 3D in collision shape for the new screen mesh. So our new curved mesh is going to capture input and display the sub viewport while the quad mesh is used to calculate the right position to push the input to inside of the sub viewport. And now we have a functional computer screen with a curved monitor. One last thing I want to show you guys is how you can make your computer screen glow. On the world environment, click the glow drop down and enable it. Then on the screen materials albedo, 
open the color and go to the RAW tab, then slowly bring up the RGB values. If you found this tutorial helpful, then you can support me by just hitting like, subscribe, and commenting. I'll be uploading more game dev videos along with dev vlogs for the game that I made this interactive computer for. Anyways, thanks for watching.